The importance of innovation. In this first module of the session, I want to talk about the importance of innovation. Innovation is a word that we hear almost every day. We hear business leaders talk about their business innovations. We hear people acknowledging smart ideas and products as innovations. We see customers line up to buy innovative products. We see people who add the word innovative to their resume. We see claims of innovation almost every day. And we also know that it's a very important to be innovative in this 21st century. But then the question is how important it is. I remember back in the 90s when every business magazine or management books were obsessed with the word quality and quality management as a winning formula for business success, especially in the manufacturing sector. We had Japan leading the quality revolution and in the year 2000 or onwards, we saw the rise of this new revolution where innovation was talked about as the primary ingredient for sustained business success. The big shift that I observed was from the word quality to innovation. And I see much of contrast between these two words or factors rather than similarities. Here is why. Quality spoke about continuous improvement while innovation was about discontinuous improvement and disruptions. The evolution from quality to innovation took place simultaneously as the world of customers changed over time. The way customers perceive value has changed drastically and it will continue to change again and again. Now I love the word quality, so does most people, but Today, if you want to put relevance to the word quality, you need to be very innovative. The catch is this. The best quality product alone will not gain the accolades of customers. You need to have the most innovative product as well. Let me simplify that for you. Would you buy the best quality Walkman today? when you have an option or a better option for, you know, having the best iPod or smartphones loaded with music. Do you still refer to the best compiled version of an encyclopedia out there or would you log on to Wikipedia if you once have some reference? Innovation leads the way to change the way we go about doing our everyday business. And innovation is the key to continued success in business. Like Peter Drucker said it very aptly that business has only two functions, marketing and innovation. It doesn't matter what business you are in or in what profession you are in. You need to live, breathe and think innovation to sustain your success. Because in a world of constant change, innovation is the only way to survive. The job of a business is to create and keep customers and earn profits for doing the same. Now creating customers is possible by marketing and creating and keeping them is only possible by innovation. Moreover, innovation precedes marketing because without innovation, you have nothing to market on long term. Business that fails due to market saturation is a prime example for this. Steve Jobs was quoted saying, innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. And that statement has never been more meaningful than what it is today. Innovation is absorbed into every fabric of an enterprise. Innovation is increasingly becoming the heart of enterprise today. At a time when even the most fundamental elements of business success are being reevaluated and redefined, one thing has become increasingly clear. Innovation is no longer a nice to have, it's a must have. Innovation is the new Darwinism in business. The choice most companies are facing today is very simple, innovate or perish. 
a great deal of survival is purely dependent on the organization's willingness and the flexibility to constantly reinvent themselves, their products, their branch, their processes, and in short, the way they do business. Many organizations are looking for different ways to innovate, replacing their traditional brainstorming techniques with a new, more inventive process of asking smarter questions and finding quantum leap answers. In the beginning, innovation was advocated with, within organization as a means for their competitive advantage, but today innovation has become the core necessity for the very essence of corporate survival itself. Originally, innovation spurs from an organization's urge to differentiate itself. When there are too many products and too many competitions offering different things in the marketplace. So companies resort to offer something of a unique value that their competitors can't offer. So it was purely a function of, you know, trying to differentiate themselves with the competition there. But today, the biggest competition is the shift in newer technologies that can disrupt human habits, business infrastructure, supporting platforms, and comfort zones of conventional businesses. Whether you or your competitor is a part of it or not, there is a force you need to understand that is constantly evolving, constantly adapting and changing. It is progressive at a natural tempo and often very exponential in nature, where people who do not innovate find it very hard to catch up with the market changes. I believe innovation is no more optional. It's a must have. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. That's why I have been studying innovation for more than a decade and it's always fascinating to me just trying to keep up with the changes that are taking place in the blink of an eye. Innovation is a way of doing business. It does not limit itself to the innovation of just creating new products or services or business models. Innovation can be incorporated into every area of your business. While conducting your business, you may resort to several practices like constant improvement, like Kaizen or uh, you know, strategic shifts that are small or big like Lean or Six Week Sigma, Scrum, and many more practices in managing your projects. But you need to add innovation also that could be fast or slow or radical or disruptive that will eventually improve your product services and processes of any of the business metrics in any function of your business. For example, anything that can lead to increased customer value, increase in revenue, better processes, profits, turnover, business models, or decrease in cost and hassles are pure forms of innovation. You can add innovation to anything. It's a must-have ingredient and without an innovation mindset, businesses cannot sustain in the long term. Smaller innovative companies, they will overtake moments of businesses that ignore changes and innovations. The history of business enterprises gives us tons of these examples for the same. And as they say, those who do not study history are condemned to repeat it. So study innovation. Make it a part of your quest. It's as important as studying the secrets of business success. The time we live in and the time we are going to live in will witness several successes that are purely born out of innovative minds. And if you learn the process to become more innovative, you can contribute a lot more to your team and a lot more to the business you are in. So make innovation as one of your key skill set and let your ideas find its expressions in everything you do and achieve. Subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification because you are about to get a crash course on innovation.